Our next film, Halloween 2, is the sequel to the well-known and well-made 1978 horror film that made millions out of telling, and telling very well, the story of a maniac who terrified a bunch of attractive female babysitters. The killer in that picture escaped at the end of the film after being shot at very close range, and he's back now in Halloween 2 chasing the same babysitter, Jamie Lee Curtis. As the movie opens, Jamie Lee Curtis has been taken to the hospital to recover from the wound she suffered in the first picture, but the <laughs> maniac invades the hospital, so she escapes to the parking lot. As psychiatrist Donald Pleasance goes into the hospital to try and corner the madman. Check all the rooms down there. Go on. Dr. Loomis. You stay with me and shut up. Boy, have we seen that scene before in so many movies since Halloween came out. The big secret in this film is why does the killer have such a fixation on Jamie Lee Curtis? Well, we find out eventually, but the answer isn't all that surprising or interesting or shocking. I was totally disappointed by this sequel for all the standard reasons that most of us are dissatisfied with sequels. Number one reason? There's a different director this time. He's not as talented as a stylish director, John Carpenter, who created the first Halloween film. Second reason, the film offers nothing new, just repetitive shots of the killer and his disgusting, chalky face popping into view, usually in the background, saying nothing, and slowly, steadily stalking his victims, waving a thick knife. Who is it? This worked once, not this time. I wasn't scared in Halloween 2, I was just grossed out. You know, it's ironic that the original Halloween inspired so many countless dozens of imitations. Right. And for two years, we got nothing but movies in which their only ambition was to litter the screen with dead teenagers. Right. Now we get Halloween 2, and it's a pale imitation of the imitations. It's not worthy of the original film. The nice thing about the first film was you had a hierarchy of morality. You had the good girl, Jamie Lee Curtis, who was kind of resourceful and intelligent, and she tried to get away and mm -hmm. tried to solve the situation. The bad girls got killed. In this film, it's totally nihilistic. Everybody gets killed. There's no pattern to it. And Jamie Lee Curtis is not, she, she's lost her intelligence, she's lost her resourcefulness, she's just reduced to being a pitiful person crawling around helplessly. I also think that we've seen these tricks before. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really mm -hmm. what happens. The guy was scary once. Mm -hmm. Well, you see him another time, he's not so uh -huh. scary. Some films don't need sequels. I know there's a tremendous commercial impulse to do it. But some are so good and so fresh, don't make a sequel to it unless the guy is going to do it again. It's a disappointment, and I think that people, if they see the first one, are going to realize just how bad this picture no, but is. But part two is doing okay at the box office. What do you think the chances are of part three? I pray that I don't have to suffer Better through that. Better not to think about it, okay? It is time, Michael.